it's time to talk standards, specifically industry standards. Now every few weeks we will find a thread in Reddit or Stack Social or somewhere like that where people are asking why Blender isn't an industry standard. And there'll be lots of depressing responses about why Blender is not an industry standard. Now I personally think this has to, more to do with people not valuing something that doesn't come with a coercive payment method than it does Blender actually not being an industry standard. So let's take a look at a few of the things that we might go ahead and define an industry standard on. First, third-party add-ons available and people making money from the software. Blender has this, it has a thriving marketplace of third-party add-ons. We also have a massive marketplace of third-party assets that people are, are using. We have Another would be official support from chip makers. We absolutely have official support from AMD, Nvidia, and Intel, who are all contributing developers to the team and to the development goals of Blender. This isn't just um, a benevolent action on the part of those vendors. They make money by improving Blender because people are buying their hardware to use Blender on in a professional capacity. Otherwise, those companies would not be investing money in the software. We have absolutely massive user base comparable with any of the other software packages. We have a massive amount of both first-hand and third-party support. Um, if you were to buy something like an Adobe product or an Autodesk product, part of the money that you'd put, be putting in is support and documentation. Now Blender's documentation is absolutely up to standards now with what you would find with one of those companies and with people like um, CG Cookie and um, people on Udemy and all of those kind of places just pumping out lots and lots of high quality paid tutorials. You can buy support packages for Blender that will give, you know, personalized programmer support, we've got render farm support, and all of that stuff you would get with one of those other products that we consider to be industry standards. Now we also have integration with other tools, which is something you would look at with something like, um, if you take other industry standard applications like Photoshop or Affinity Designer, you would go, can that be interoperable with avid media composer say and um, if it is then that's a good sign you're on to an industry standard sort of application and yeah with ZBrush with image editors with things like 3d coat substance designer all have first party and if not first party then third party application integrations um, sometimes even deeper integration than you would find on some commercial products. And the last metric would be it actually being used by people to do tasks in the real world, which we see all the time. One of the times we, we can see this openly is when we have big YouTubers that we use Blender as a benchmarking tool. We've got um, big people running shows that we can see are using Blender to composite their shows and do things like their titling. All these kind of things we we see publicly all the time and just the claim that Blender is not an industry standard application doesn't stand up in 2021. Um, so stop repeating this because it's, it's just not true anymore. It's something that maybe was true 15 years ago, back in 2.4 days, where we didn't have all of those things that we have now that put us on par with everybody else. Thank you for watching.